person 15, Camp James. This is my episode. I really hope you guys enjoy it. You guys know I'm a big sneaker head. You know I love my sneakers to death. All brands. We will be showcasing a lot of the shoes that I pick up because I get so many shoes, whether it's early or not. And I just want to give you guys good reviews and just give you guys a chance to figure out, should I camp for these? Or should I not camp for these? So, not wasting any time. I think we'll start it off with my favorite brand, Michael Jordan. Let's go with my favorite Jordan of all time. Definitely. The Retro Jordan 2. This is a sample from 94. I got off eBay. Oh, they were very cool. Very, very cool. Like, uh, this is my favorite shoe. Um, for so many reasons. It was, came out the year I was born. 87, so dope. And then, like, I really appreciate the older models. This is a 94. It's so sleek compared to, like, the older ones. Oh, like the 03 and the, and the 2010 that are nice. Still my shit. I bought them. Obviously, I own them. Oh, whatever. But you can tell the difference in just the shape alone. How this is more round, more full compared to more sleek, pointy toe type feel. Oh, whatever. I definitely am a big fan of the Retro 2s. I definitely collect them. I buy the same shoe over and over. I know it sounds crazy. But for my sneakerheads, I know you guys get it. So definitely, I mean, to give you some more specs, I know you guys probably want to get a closer look. Whatever. Shout out to my soul here, hooping hard on tour. But, hey, man, definitely a great shoe. Definitely was worth every penny. Shout out to MJ for one of the greatest shoes in my life. Give me some closer specs here on this 94 guy. You know what I'm With the Nike Air on the inside. Deck. Get a little close up on the tag so you get, figure out what's going on here. Um, and I, I didn't ever realize that the difference on the Jordan Retro 2s over the years has been the backside of them, actually. So if you see it here on the 94, look at that back. That back is crazy. All right? Got the red back, boom, 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 all that. But on your 2003 or 2000s version, if you're like, your middle class version, we have a black back. Definitely. And then on the latest one, they dropped like 09, 2010, if I'm not mistaken, you have a red and black back. So they went back to the red. They definitely went back to it, the red and black, but in a different way. And I just appreciate, I know a lot of sneakerheads, they get upset when they, uh, Nike drops a lot of, or Jordan brand drops a lot of shoes that came out in the past over again. But I appreciate them making small changes so that it's your story. Moving forward in the Jordan world, another cool pickup. And all these shoes are shoes I picked up since I came back from overseas in Paris. As you can see online or whatever, we definitely did a Europe vlog. And I couldn't find all the sneakers that I wanted to get over there like that. But shout out to Foot Patrol, shout out to Panther Sneaker Store, some dope individuals, very cool people. Shout out to the Nike Town in London. It's like seven stories. Cool, super dope. It reminds me of the one in Chicago. Shout out to Shot Town. Definitely. One of the key pickups I got since I've been back is the Myro Sevens, man. These are really cool, man. I always had so many different names for them. I remember my boy Vince here in Atlanta. I remember when he had these, I was like, yo, these are crazy. What are these? Definitely dope. Definitely matches my style. And what I like about it, honestly, which I'm just now realizing, I'm not even going to lie to you is that it kind of gives you that the Jordan 10 feel, kind of, not the same shoe, with the stats under the bottom here. I didn't know that. Oh, it's not the stats, but actually the game scores of the Olympics. Super dope. Super dope. Very, very dope. Very, very dope. You know what I'm saying? This is a great shoe. The lace color wheel. That's dope. Super dope. I really like how they did this. They showed out, man. Really dope shoe. I love the way that they did this. The packaging is cool. And this is one of my key pickups since I've been back home. With the last two shoes that we just talked about. Because obviously you can't camp for these now because they're old. But I definitely would have spent three days in line for these. I would have did three days. And I don't see you having to camp for these. But if I did, 
I, I wouldn't camp. I'd wake up very early in the morning, like 6 o'clock in the morning, get up early, go get my Jordan. Three days. Don't talk to me. Three days out there. Cheer. I shall stand. I did the stand up before. I'm out there. Three days. We got the Laney's. God, I love this shoe. Oh, God, I love this shoe so much. Sorry for being so loud. But the shoe is dope. The shoe is so dope. I really, really, really was happy when I got this. I got this from a sneaker store in Philly. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't remember the name of it. But Philadelphia is the place. Shout out to Philly all day. Bree, what's up? But this is 2000 Laney's. As you can see, it's yellowing, creases. When I bought them, they told me they don't know about that sole if it's gonna last. But, shout out to those guys for being real. And that's why I respect them a lot. And they had a pair of, uh, oh, the Dave White, Jordan 1's that I should've bought. The white pair though, being cheap. If I ever make it back there, I want them. But, definitely, Jordan, Laney's 2000 version, super dope. These are getting ready to come out November 2nd. This is one of my top Jordan shoes. It's not my favorite, obviously. You've seen my favorite. Oh, God, this is so nice. This is so nice. Man, so this is a 2000. And to get you better up to speed, because, well, you know, I'm a generous, nice guy. Well, this is the one that comes out November 2nd. Or whatever. And I will say that they did their thing. Shout out to Jordan Brand. Shout out to Nike. Shout out to whoever. Yo, these joints are crazy. And I'm not just hyping them because I own them. I spent my money on these. Good money. Spent my money on these too. No free shoes over here. I'm just telling you the truth, man. Or whatever. These shoes are hard. Or whatever. To give you some quick comparisons, show you some differences. 2000 Jordan sign is blue or whatever. The new one is black. You know what I'm saying? Like, when they come out with the next one in 10 more years, whenever Jordan does it again, and they put a yellow back, well, that's that kid's story. You know? But these are definitely sick, man. Um, to give you some more comparisons, the inside Jordan sign on the 2013s are yellow, 2000s, white. Show you the bottom. Definitely a solid shoe. Definitely, materials are really good, really good. And another thing, since we're already on the subject, I know a lot of people have problems with the materials, but I'm gonna tell you, man, that I used to get caught up in that whole material thing. I don't have a problem with my Jordans. I've been buying Jordans since they've been re-releasing them for the last, like, three years, like, really re-releasing and stuff. And the quality is good, man, so I don't know, guys, or whatever, like, at the end of the day, to each his own. But just take care of your shoes and, well, what are you worrying about anyway? I have a little surprise for you guys. Because, well, like I said, I'm a generous guy. So, to move forward with it, black ladies call them the Shanghai's. Whoa. Whoa. Crazy. Let me get this out of here. I haven't even put these on yet. These are crazy. I'm just not seeing the inside. These are crazy. I gotta show y'all the inside. These are crazy. This is my first time even looking at it. I've been waiting for the episode to actually show them to you before I even put them on my feet. So like you're gonna see it first. You know whatever, like how DS these are, so that you can take for yourself. Is it even worth you going through the headache? Because these weren't easy to get, to be honest with you. And they're kind of expensive. Hopefully they come out in America. But these are crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and salvage and show you my shoe. Oh, whatever, so you won't have to do it. Oh, it hurts pulling that out. But these are crazy. I just seen this for the first time. Sick. Oh my God. Whoa, out of here. Crazy, super crazy. You got like the Asian sizes on it. Super dope, mm -hmm. super dope, super, super dope. Showed out on these. The Shanghai's are crazy. I already like them just from the standpoint of that's dope, man. Shanghai's are crazy. So now let's take a look at all three. The back of all three. 2000, 2013 whites, Shanghai's, 
blue back, cool. All of them had the black inside, so that's super cool. I like how they went from where well, they kept the yellow and then they went blue on the inside of this. That's really dope. I like the color blocks on these. The color blocks on these are really cool. I mean, for me personally, this is my top. This is the best one. But this is just good to have in your collection, my personal opinion. Definitely good to have in your collection. Shout out to Gold. I want everything they got. A, these guys are really dope. Good people. KO. Definitely. That's just a good look. That's a good look. If you need a shirt, just have. I was happy to hold on to this for the right time. That's a good look. You know, so shout out to them. You know, like this doesn't make me any money, guys. I whatever. You know what I'm saying? This is just, it's just respect. I, I, I like to give people respect. So if you got something worth really showing and your brand is that dope, or uh, whatever, we will show it off here on first and fifteenth, so that the world can see it. Because that's all you want. I think everybody deserves a chance, but it got to be worth showing. And then, of course, why not try and plug myself? My first collaboration with Bobby Fresh. If, you can, if you're familiar with Bobby Fresh, and you know that he's been doing the sneaker thing for a minute. And I remember being in the sneaker community and just like, yo, this dude's killing the shirts. So now to have my own to go with the Laney's is super cool. I'm super happy. I thank God for all my blessings. It says must be, it must be the shoes or must be the shoes. Hey, cliche, cliche, but at the end of the day, you and me both know, guys, that as us as sneakerheads, some of us, we just want a shirt to match the kit or whatever. So this is definitely cool, man. I'm super happy to have it. It also comes in white. So that's definitely a really good look for the shoe. You know what I'm saying? Check that out. Super dope. As far as camping out for these Jordans, the ones we talked about today, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. One day, one day, just for, just because I feel that hype is crazy or whatever, but I mean, I wish you could wake up early in the morning, like seven o'clock and get these, that's ideal. But just to be on the safe side and I want these this that bad, I'll be up at midnight at 12 at somebody's store waiting on these to come out that morning. That's just my personal opinion. You don't have to do it. That's just what I would do. The 2000s, uh, if I had to camp, it would be the same same way. And then for the Shanghai's, two days. Two days. If it was that serious, two days. Because at the end of the day, what makes us have to camp is according to how many pairs that Nike Jordan decides to release. So there's no telling how limited the shoe would be if it came out in stores to get. But I would do two days, me personally. Oh, yeah. The Air Force One. I'm not gonna get up here and get into details about the shoe. We know how classic it is. I know it's people who never stopped. I remember when I was on the night on Air Force Ones, very, very hard. You know, and it goes back more to like when they did the, uh, the basketball packages, like the Tony Parkers. And I think they did like a, they did like a purple and gold one, a Laker edition, Detroit Piston edition. You know, all those, the Bahamas. That's when I really cranked to the St. Patrick's Day Pass and leather ones for me. Green front, white back. You know, that like that's my Air Force One days. And then times got hard and I let it go. Then Air Force One kind of lost it, it lost its possess. So when I when times got hard for me, I sold a lot of my Air Force Ones. And now, now that I really got back into it, I really into the highs a lot, you know? And um, I had to get these. I seen these on Hypebeast, shout out to Hypebeast. Good dope individuals, really good, really good people. Um, copies of Champ Sports, you know, not the major or whatever, but it's a 3M check. Really dope, man, really dope. It's just a clean shoe, really nice silhouette, you know. I'm from Atlanta, so this is a classic shoe for us, just in general. A town all day, baby. You know how that goes, whatever. 3M back, so when you take a picture, it's just really, it's really dope. Cool little picture, you know. Nothing too major, definitely. Clean shoe, good to have. Good for the winter just to pop out with the right outfit. I like these a lot. Um, Nike Force One High, definitely. 3M check. 